Hey guys, welcome back to Wiles HVAC and stuff. Today I wanted to talk about burners, uh, more specifically furnace burners. Uh, they do need to be cleaned periodically. Uh, you need to do regular maintenance to your furnace and this is definitely one of the big maintenance topics that should be done. Typically we recommend for the cleaning of the burners be done by a licensed certified contractor. Uh, if you happen to be a service tech out there, then maybe this will help you along as far as cleaning them. All right, so cleaning the burners is not a real complicated process. Some of the different furnaces, it is harder to get uh, get them out of there than what it is others. Uh, one good thing about these Goodman furnaces, they come apart pretty easily, so not a big deal. Uh, this one happens to be a seventy thousand BTU furnace, so it's got twenty or it's got uh, excuse me three burners in it. Uh, so we'll get them out of there and see what we can do. Uh, usually start by making sure the power is turned off. Uh, we've already done all of that. Uh, now we'll get all of our wire connectors out of the way. Uh, if you don't re remember where they go, make sure you mark them. Just hit them with some Sharpie, something like that. Uh, but get all your wires out of the way, nice and easy. So looks, this one here has four quarter inch screws holding that manifold down on there. We're just going to take it loose and usually, since this one does have a flexible gas connector on it and has a stainless steel connector uh, on the outside of the furnace, gives us a little bit of play, everything moves around, makes it pretty nice. So you take those out and that falls down like that. And then, on these, just take them up at an angle, they sit on little hooks in there just like that. And pop them up there, take it out, out at an angle. Like I said, the Goodman furnaces are excellent furnaces as far as taking them apart and maintenance and uh, they are very simple to do, they come right apart. Uh, these burners aren't too dirt, too awful dirty. Uh, we do have a little bit um, of you know surface rust and, and things like that on there, so those need to be cleaned up. Uh, recommend at least once a year, or usually about once a year is sufficient on most of them, as long as we're not in a wet, dirty basement that's uh, causing a lot of rust, moisture problems, different things like that. Um, as far as cleaning them, all you got to do, wire brush and a vacuum. I didn't bring a vacuum in here today, but I'm pretty confident a service tech can figure out how to use a vacuum. If you can't, you probably shouldn't be a service tech. But just take that brush, you just want to rough up the surface. Any kind of surface rust that's on there, you want it all taken off. So just use a wire brush, make sure all those crossover channels are clear. So, you know, that one looks pretty clean now, because uh, those little channels there, they, they line up from burner to burner. They're, it's a crossover channel. So whenever that first burner lights, that gas, if I can get, hold this in the right spot here, that gas runs across that channel and then lights that burner. And then that runs on to the next burner, does the exact same thing. So it has to be able to run all the way across. So you have to make sure that all those channels are clear, no rust, no fuzz balls, no junk of corrosion of any kind in there. So make sure that's cleaned out. Make sure the surface of the... Um, the burner face is clean, uh, you know, look down in there, make sure everything's clean inside the tube, no bugs, no dust, lint, anything like that. So once you've brushed them up like that, uh, take them out to the truck. Uh, if you've got a service truck, you should have an air tank on it. If you don't, get one because you're not doing it right. Uh, take it out there with your to your air tank with a blow nozzle, you know, blow through the channels, blow through the burner itself, blow it out both ways, make sure all the dust, anything that you broke free with that uh, brush you want it blown out of there and then take your shop vac with a uh, bristle brush on the end of it and go over all that and it'll suck out the rest of it and then suck through the um, the burner itself make sure all the lint is out and then as long as it ha you didn't let it get too rusty or you know wait too long before you took it out and clean it it'll be basically just like a brand new burner all over again so burner maintenance is very important it's often forgotten or nobody wants to do it just for the fact that uh, it is uh, sometimes hard to get them out of there so uh, you know it, just because it's hard doesn't mean it doesn't doesn't mean that it doesn't need to be done um, so make sure you get your burners out once a year check them out clean them out and your furnace will run a long time so if you have any questions comments leave them down below otherwise please like share and subscribe as much as possible uh, please subscribe and to the channel and that way you can see the rest of these coming out so any questions like I said leave them down below thank you and God bless